Greetings everyone, the good tonight's here, and today we're taking a special look at a long-awaited helmet that finally showed up. Oh yeah, we have our Opscore Maritime. Finally, our official neat one. So we've had our replica for a while that we were using as sort of like a uh, test setup to get like everything set up the way I wanted to, particularly the, the cam fit and the uh, 4D super padding. So, the replica, it's not terrible as far as getting the design and everything together but ultimately our super nifty ops core showed up i wanted to kind of show it in the uh, default configuration it showed up in so you'll see it does have some ops core amps on there and we will be talking about those in a later video so immediately for the helmet you have this nice little sort of tannadized uh shroud here it's pretty neat nifty a lot of uh, scratches up here that's cool uh, we'll probably have to paint over that because shiny is bad. It's just all, it's just a law. People like shinies, but you don't want shinies on your tactical gear. Like at all. Ever. Just don't do it. So we're going to take our pop score here. We'll move these to the back of the helmet. I just took it out of the bag. I'm going to keep it stored in the bag like you're supposed to. So getting the ear pro and stuff inside the helmet. Kind of a big deal. Those sit back there. That's really neat. I like that a lot. So what did this come with? It came with... A worm dial. Interestingly enough, worm dials are interesting. Uh, like the older Camfit, but much easier to... Well, not the Camfit, but the, uh, the OCC dial. This one's way easier to adjust and stuff. And you have a few of the pads. They did take out the inner shell. That was pretty neat and nifty that everyone really liked. To presumably make more room or do something. But yeah, that's all this really came with. I do like the uh, helmet cover. I think it's the issued one, technically. I'm not sure on that. I'm still trying to get more information, but lots of uh, elastic webbing and stuff everywhere to work with, and really, really cool. And you got the sort of like immensely modified Lux liner on the inside. So yeah, it's breathable. It's pretty simple. It's, I would argue the 40 pads are much nicer, but we're going to be modifying this and then doing a second video here in the near future. So. Uh, look forward to that cool little helmet. I'm going to throw this on my head real quick. And, oh, my fully charged camera is already dying. So that's cool. So this might be a shorter video whilst I go and recharge the camera. These chin straps are really, really tight compared to the uh, cam fit. So, but yeah, really cool. And we can um, drop this boy down here. And you can knock out your tactical DJ skills while out in the field. Because, you know, the war drums... That's a thing of the past. It's all tactical DJ now, so... Uh, yeah, someone hit up DJ Shadow. I'm gonna go for the battery dies. See ya!